adventure day. We are here in San Diego. I was gonna say San Antonio, but no, we're no longer home. We are far from home. We're in San, San Diego, Diego, California. San we got here Diego. yesterday around four, spent some time with family, and we're gonna spend some more time with family today at the San Diego Safari Park. We're gonna bring you guys along for the whole day, show you what the Safari Park has to offer. Jane has her, what is that, a tiger shirt? Yep. Yep. And Peter has his Jurassic Park shirt on. They're ready for the day. So let's get going, guys. Safari Park. We were on the, uh, what was it called? The, the tram? The tram. The tram ride where you get to see all the animals and then things turned very, very bad. Um, my stomach from the ovarian cyst that you guys know that I've been battling for about three months now and I actually just saw the doctor about two weeks ago. Actually, no, it was last Tuesday. Um, it ended up causing a lot of problems. I was in the most excruciating pain. Um, I got very dizzy and very nauseous on the tram ride. Eventually reached over to Adam and said, we gotta, we gotta leave this park. I didn't really get that far off the tram ride before I started feeling even worse. And uh, I sat down. Um, my mom went ahead and tried to find a way to get like a shuttle so that I can get to the parking lot and get out of the park as soon as possible so we can possibly go get me to the doctors. Adam got on the phone with uh, the nurse advice line to try to figure out, okay, what do we need to do? Where is the closest uh, doctor's office that we are covered with or where we can go as a military family in a place that we don't live? Um, I ended up getting so bad that I started vomiting. <laughs> I started vomiting in the bushes at the safari park very very embarrassing um and then eventually what happened you guys started walking me very slowly to the shuttle we waited a little bit of time for the shuttle to show up and they showed up in like a bus with no way to roll down windows and i was throwing up on the way there so i'm like that's not gonna work i'm gonna throw up all over that bus so one lady came and opened up a trash can so i could throw up in there and i just ended up kind of hunched over next to the trash can, just like not being able to move at all. Um, they ended up calling a park ranger to come get me in his Jeep so that I could have an open window to the medical aid center at the safari park. Um, so that ride was excruciating. It was right in the middle of the tram ride. So we ended up getting stuck behind the tram. All these people standing up in the tram ride, just sightseeing, looking at the animals, the cameras. And I'm just like, just just plow through them, you know? This, this pain is just so excruciating. Um, we ended up finding our way to the med uh, facility. It was a very small little building. Um, the guys helped me out of the Jeep because at that point I just felt very paralyzed, like I couldn't move. 
and I, yeah, I was about to, I was about to pass out. My body was shaking. I had goosebumps. Um, very dizzy. I, I don't even really know where I was at that point. I got on a wheelchair, right? Yeah, because you passed out. I couldn't walk, so they got me on a wheelchair and rolled me into the medical center, and I saw that there was a bed there, and I could barely sit down because the the pain was so bad like I I had it I felt in me that I just needed to lay down in the fetal position and just try to bear through it um, they kept asking me questions but the pain was so so bad I just I couldn't even answer them so Adam was doing his best to answer them and to talk to the nurse advice line on the phone who had just asked him countless questions um, my parents took the kids into I, I guess another room yeah. another room um, and we were, how long were we in there? At 10 that, minutes? Oh, like 15. Okay, so we were in the med center at the safari park for about 15 minutes. They ended up um, calling the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Ambulance. Ambulance. They called an ambulance to come get me, uh, put me up on the stretcher, and Adam ended up coordinating with my parents so that the kids could go to their house and wait this out, Adam ended up getting in the car and the ambulance was working with Adam to make sure that he was able to follow us all the way through. So, I don't know, that whole process took maybe 30 minutes from the point where it got really, really bad off the tram to the point where I was on yeah, my way in the yeah, that, ambulance. Like 45. 45 minutes? 40, 50 minutes at least. <laughs> okay, Adam's saying almost an hour. I don't know. It, it seemed pretty quick to me, um, but they ended up getting me to the hospital. They put all this stuff on me in the in the ambulance so that they can take my vitals. The ride was probably about 20 minutes uh, to the hospital. And guys, on the way in the ambulance, the pain just started going away. It was almost like, what the hell just happened? I went from excruciating pain, I'd say it's probably worse than giving birth. And from excruciating pain to almost nothing. Um, I did still feel the pinch and a little bit of pressure, but by the time I got to the ER, I was actually feeling much, much better. I felt like I could get up and actually walk into the ER. So they ended up keeping me. They wanted to run some tests. I told them, hey guys, I've been dealing with a uh, ovarian cyst for about three months now. My doctor has seen me twice about it. They plan on seeing me again when I return back to San Antonio in about two weeks after our vacation. And they've shared with me that it could possibly uh, get so large that it rolls my ovaries and cuts off the blood, the blood flow of the ovaries, which would cause it to die. And then it w if it were to die in my body, it would cause a lot of infection. So that would be very, very bad. Or it could rupture and I'd be in excruciating pain. So we stayed there at the emergency room for five, five hours, and half, five, and hour. five and a half hours. They did an ultrasound and uh, a urine sample and they came back and said, we think that you had, uh, what are the, what's the term? Fibrosis? Fibroids. Fibroids. And they don't think that it's cancerous or anything, um, just something that happens over time for women my age and they do think that my gyno needs to take a look at it when I get back home for sure. Uh, they may have to biopsy it and see if there's any concern with those fibroids. Um, so that's something that I will need to schedule with my gyno, which they plan on seeing me anyways when I get home. Um, so that's what they found in the ultrasound, but they wanted to be sure because they didn't see anything else. So they ended up running a CT scan uh, without the dyes this time, because you guys know that I am allergic to the dyes by this point. Um, last time I got a CT scan when they found out that I do have an ovarian cyst, I ended up breaking out in really bad hives. So I'm allergic to that stuff, so we gotta stay away. So they ran the CT without the dyes. Uh, maybe about an hour and a half later, they came back with the results and said, you know what, we don't see an ovarian cyst at all. There's nothing there. Everything is clean, you look healthy, the only thing of concern is the fibroids, so you do need to call your gyno and schedule an appointment to get that checked out as soon as possible, um, just to be sure that there's not, nothing to be concerned about with that. But they 
do believe that the cyst ruptured while we were at the park and that was the pain that I was feeling. Um, so we're gonna pray, pray, pray that this pain is from the rupture and I don't feel it anymore during our vacation. Guys, we have SeaWorld tomorrow. We have a family dinner tomorrow. On Sunday, we're going up to Hollywood and exploring. And then we have Universal Studios with the kiddos and we have a surprise for them. And I did not want to miss out on that because the kids have been looking forward to it so much. And we're also going to Disneyland and we've been planning this trip for a whole year. So to find myself in an ambulance, the first day we're here, is it was very, very, very difficult. But Adam was awesome. He stayed with me the whole time. We continued to um, update my parents on what's going on. My mom was sending us pictures of the kids playing at the park, doing crafts, playing games, watching movies. And we're on our way to go get them right now. Uh, we're gonna be traveling up to where I grew up in Ramona, California. Feeling amazing. I feel a little bit of a pinch on my side, but that's it, guys. I feel great. Um, just very emotional right now because of how this day turned out. But if it did rupture and the pain is over, that's great. Hopefully we can move forward and really enjoy the rest of this trip. But guys, I'm gonna close out this vlog. Um, be sure to come back. Tomorrow we're gonna go to SeaWorld. We're gonna vlog all that and um, it's gonna be fun. It's been a long time since we've been to SeaWorld San Diego. You know, you guys have been following us at uh, SeaWorld San Antonio a lot. We go there a lot. So I'm very excited to see what the changes are between the two parks. Um, but guys, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video and we'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea. With you wherever that may be Home is with you wherever that